Um, hi there, it's me. Um, I haven't made a video in, um, three months or something, but, uh, anyway. Um, since then, uh, I've been pretty much the same old, uh, I've been really depressed, feeling rather worthless and helpless, and just, uh, like I'm a big old piece of shit, like, uh, you know, always, really, um, but, um, I guess I, I'm feeling that way, but at the moment I'm okay with it, so, you know, I don't know what exactly what that means, but anyway, so that's where I'm at in terms of that shit, um, oh, right, so, uh, the holidays occurred, um, uh, we did go back home and see, uh, family and friends, which was nice to see family and friends, you know, that was great, um, it was kind of a, I'd love to see my mom, it was very nice, except, um, my mom and I, well, to preface, preface, uh, preface, um, my mom and I have a mm, difficult relationship, uh, you know, it's just, um, it's difficult, one day I'll get into that shit, but I don't feel like it right now, but anyway, so it was nice to see my mom, I've actually even started to miss her, yeah, um, but, yeah, the only thing is, she likes to kind of be a Debbie Downer, um, about things, about, uh, things like what I want to do in life, for instance, uh, like I want to be a farmer and she does not understand that shit, so there are a few times, a number of times actually, where she was just, um, giving me a really fucking hard time and just making it sound like there is no way in fucking hell that I could ever have a farm, and she does that sometimes, I try not to bring up the farm, but sometimes it comes up anyway, and it just really pisses me off, because I just... I just want my mom to accept me, and she's never, as far as I can tell, really done that. And I just want her to think that I can do things, and she doesn't seem to think that I can be, I'm capable at living life, and that really bothers me, you know, um, I mean, I don't know a single soul on earth who doesn't want their mom or dad or whatever to think that they can at least live life, and my mom doesn't seem to think that, and it really pisses me the fuck off, so I just... Um, it would have been nice if, for the one week that we were there, if she could have just not, you know, said any of that shit. Because I have, I have brought it to her attention that it's really, uh, hurtful as fuck when all she can say is negative shit about the things I'm trying to aspire to be. And she's like, oh yes, I get that, I'm just trying to be a mom. I just, there's a difference between trying to be a mom and trying to have nothing nice to say, and I feel like she just doesn't have anything nice to say about it, and then maybe she just shut the fuck up, you know. But anyway, so it was nice to see my family and stuff, I just, um, kind of got offended, and I'm still upset that my mom does not believe in me, and I just, I know I shouldn't give a shit, because my mom is a, an interesting lady, to say the least, and has a set of baggage of her own, I just, I really... I don't think it's wrong, it's weird of me, I think I should take it to heart, but I take it to heart when she blatantly makes it obvious that she doesn't think I can do the things I would like to be successful in. So, anyway, so it was nice to visit, it was just kind of disappointing that we couldn't just have a good week, because I didn't bring up any bullshit. I could have, you know, uh, she was drunk when I was a child, and had some very strange parenting ways about her, I think it might have been because she was drunk at the time, but, you know, I didn't say any shit, you know, I wasn't like, hey, bitch, you know, you fucking made me eat dinner in the bathroom a lot when I was a kid because the table was your sanctuary, and it's just like, I didn't say that, I didn't fucking say that, I didn't say that you treated me like a dog for a number of years, I didn't say anything like that, didn't say that shit, but you still just can't be nice, I don't know, anyway, so, that was Christmas, which was, it was good, just, you know, that minor little thing that made me a little pissy as fuck, um, but anyway, um, so, after we got back from Christmas, um, I was feeling like I've been feeling just really shitty, but I just, I'm kind of at this breaking point where it's like, I really do think that if I don't get some sort of professional help, whether it be in a therapy or a pill setting, whatever, I'm even willing, yes, I'm even willing to take pills at this moment, because I really, I'm so sick of feeling like this, I felt like this my whole freaking goddamn life, and I'm just, I just want to be happy, you know, I just want to fucking be happy, I just want to feel good, just because I feel good, you know, I just want to feel good, I'm just so sick of feeling so shitty, 
but anyway, so um, I been, was doing a little bit of research on different therapists and uh, psychiatrists, psychiatrists, and um, so I found this one guy. He seemed really qualified, and he actually had experience in self harm, and uh, not a lot of folks, therapists and shit out here do. So, you know, I was like, hmm, let's give this guy a, a shot here. So uh, I explained to him, you know, that I am bipolar, and I've been, I've moved rather, well, not that recently anymore, but I moved here, and I haven't acquired a therapist since then. I am struggling, and I really need to figure something out, because I'm drowning here, man. So uh, I explained that, and he was like, oh, well, good, fine, you know, uh, you know, not well, good, fine, awesome, go bipolar, but uh, anyway, um, so then I was asking about insurance, you know, what does he accept? And I'm still covered under my mom, which is 12 hours away, so, um, and I guess the way that he does it, this isn't accept insurance, you have to, like, you have to pay him, you know, your ridiculous fee up front, and then take it back to your insurance company and have them reimburse you. Well, the thing is, I'm not rich, my mom's not rich, I don't have, like, two to three hundred dollars to pay the guy up front and then wait, like, three months to get most of that shit back. Plus, um, I don't know if everybody else's insurance company is this way, but mine is of such a way that it says all these things are covered, like I should be allowed to have therapy, you know, and, um, but then it likes to sit there and get pissy and say, no, we don't accept this shit. So, um, I just don't want to have to deal with the runaround, you know, and I told him that, I was like, well, you know, uh, I'm going to try to find somebody else if I can someone else that, you know, is qualified and shit, just because I don't want to have to deal with that, it's a hassle, you know, it's just, I have enough hassles, I don't want to deal with that extra hassle. And so then he turns around and says, well, it's your life, but I'm really well qualified, and I have all these degrees and shit, and who, what kind of fucking audacity is that? So because you're well qualified, that means I should be, oh, my phone is ringing, that means I should be all about dealing with the hassle of the insurance company. The thing is, you are not the only therapist in town. There are a shit ton of others. There's like hundreds of others, you know. If I, I just, I don't know how you can go into the field of therapy or people's fucking well-being and then be such a jackass, you know. I don't get that. I don't understand how you can just be so fucking insensitive. Maybe I'm overreacting. Maybe it's not ridiculous that some fuckhead that I don't know when I said, I don't want to have to deal with that, sits there and tells me that he knows best. Maybe that's not crazy of me to overreact, but I just don't think that strangers should sit there and tell me, well, I know best, because I have a degree. You know what? I have gone to school myself. I don't have a degree, but I'm like three classes away from a degree. I practically have a degree. So, back the fuck off, you know? Anyway, so I just, I had to get that out of my chest because I just... Who the fuck says that? What therapist says that shit? Who? Who? I don't know. I don't know. And so anyway, so he's not going to be my therapist, needless to say. Um, and I just, I can't have a therapist like that. I have had so many, um, well, not so many, but a number of poor experiences with therapists due to their, as far as I'm concerned, lack of intelligence because they just don't understand how to deal with crazy people. I kind of feel like that's your job. You should really know how to deal with fucking crazy people. So, um, yeah, he's not going to be my therapist. And I'm kind of discouraged at the moment about looking for another therapist because... Is that how they're all going to be out here? Fucking A. Fucking A. So, anyway, um, so that's, that's that. I just had to say it because I was getting... It was driving me nuts on the inside. So, anyway, that's that. Um, well, I'm going to try to make more videos because I feel like it's helpful for me. It's just, I get in these points where I get really depressed and then I lack motivation to do things. You know, it's lucky. My boyfriend is lucky I still do all these glorified housemaid shit that I do. Which, well, I guess he's not lucky. It's not that special. But anyway, so I'm rambling, and I'm going to leave now, and, um, yeah, so the gist of that is maybe, maybe I'll try to make more videos, because I feel like they could be helpful, but maybe not, so we'll see. Anyway, have a great day, bye.